the former Booth School in the city of Elmira will soon look a little different as the new owners have some plans to spruce up the vacant building. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dabina caught up with the new owners and takes us inside to see what their plans are. The bells work. <laughs> I do remember hearing that sound. They actually, the bells worked outside. So I grew up about a block and a half from here. I used to be able to hear the bells at home and I used to run down the street and still be in time to get to class. Andy Hughes says the last time he heard that bell ring was in the 90s when he was a student at Arthur Booth Elementary. Today, he's the building's new co-owner. We toured the 90,000 square foot property with Hughes and co-owner Drew Mitchell. Room by room, they showed us how they plan to transform it. There's a couple of unique spaces in the property the library, uh, gymnasium, auditorium, the old music room, some of the art and science rooms. This is the library. Most of the building will be made up of one bedroom apartments. Um, we've got five or six two bedroom apartments planned. So the larger spaces like this would become those two bedroom apartments. Are the lockers staying or going? The metal lockers will be gone, but they'll be replaced with wood. Uh, looking structures that kind of replace that. This will be the one bedroom here? Yeah. This is um, almost an 800 square foot space. So this would be the layout for a one bedroom apartment. You have a bathroom in that corner. You would have a bedroom over there. This would be an open concept for a kitchen and then living space. Our hope is to hit, you know, that sweet spot somewhere between seven and $900 for a one bedroom. So the idea is definitely to keep some of the theme of the school present throughout the Absolutely. Design. The former gym and auditorium will be split in two. On one side, a walled off tap room in the school's former kitchen. It will have a separate entrance and access to a rooftop deck. On the other, a new fitness center. The stage area is where we'll have a workout room. So weights, cardio equipment will be up on the stage. Those are the old stage controls. You've got all the lighting and the curtains and everything that went into putting on a good production. Wow. The lights for the stage that are on right now are actually controlled. Uh, through this still. It still works? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a relic. It's like its own city now. When you've got the smaller apartments, it's nice, you know, if you have a bike and golf clubs and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you want a little bit of storage space, so we'll do cages for each apartment. As someone who invests in Elmira, you have several properties, now you're taking another leap of faith here. How do you feel about the overall outlook as you see other developments in Elmira looking forward? I think the timing is perfect. Elmira has a lot of great things going on. You see the revitalization downtown, um, and you know we've, we, we think it's a great time to hop on board, and both of us have been investing for almost 10 years in this area. Um, this is where we live, this is where our kids go to school, so you know we wanna do everything we can to make it a better area. If you're interested in seeing Nick's full tour of the Booth School, just head on over to our website, mytwintiers.com.